I'm going to show you guys how to make the Sailor's um, pinstripe bracelet. It is reversible, so this is what it looks like on the other side. And then you can see there. And you're going to use double bands for the whole thing. This is on one loom. Um, you want to make sure all the pins are even, and we're just going to be using um, four pins in two rows. So it's going to be double bands. So first we're going to get the color that you want to use for your um, border. I'm just going to take two, and you're going to hmm, twist it into an eight. Just like that. And then you're going to skip two. And then you're going to oops, do the same thing again. So you have your two outside pins. And then next, what you're going to want to do is get the colors that you want to put for your two middle rows. So I'm going to start with purple. You're going to get two purple, and you're just going to make another eight. And push them down. And do the same thing again. And next, you're going to get the color that you want your pen stripe to be. So I'm going to use white for that. And you're just going to take it and stretch it all the way across the four pens that are closest to you. And I'm going to work in uh, groups of three. So what you're going to do next is you're just going to get your two outside colors again and this time you're not going to twist it you're just going to put it on top then push it down you're going to get two more do it to the other side two more two more there. don't do that yet <laughs> Now we're going to loop the first bands that we have. So you're going to go in the top one and bring it around like that. Then you're going to grab the bottom. You're going to grab the bottom two of each one and then push it down. So next you're going to get the bottom two from the purple on both sides and just pull it over. And then on the last one, you can either go like this through the rubber band, or you can go from right here, whichever makes it easier for you, and just put them both over like that, and then push it down. Next, you're going to put that white band back on, on the long one going across, and then you're going to push that down. Then you're going to take your border color again and go across. Get my next color. Do it like that. And so you can see I have that now. Now we're going to loop the bottom from the next your two bottom colors again, and then your pink, and then your other pink, and then you're going to get the black ones again. I'm going to go from this side this time, and just bring them up and around, up and around, and you're going to push it down. You're going to get white again, put that across, <coughs> two black, two black, so 
push them down, get your next color. It's green. And you're gonna loop them. Grab your two yellow. Yellow. And grab your two bottom black. Pull that over. Push it down. <clears throat> okay, and you're now we're going to get rid of these three white bands. So what we're going to do is you're going to lift this black, your two black bands off, but don't let them slip off. And you're just going to pick the white up, drop it over, and then put that back on. And you're just going to do that for all four. You're just going to take, take the green off. And you're just going to pull the white up over the peg that you took your band off. And then just put it back on. You're just going to do that on all of them. And so soon you can see see that it's starting to form through there. Um, that's the start, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it back around towards me. Now I'm going to put my next perimeter black bands on. And wait, first, need to put the white on. Then you put the black band. Then you're going to put your red. Or whatever color you're using. And now you're just going to do the same thing again. You're going to loop them over and you want to make sure you don't go from the outside and lift it over because then that will make the white band mess up Then you'll just push them down, put the white band on, two black, two black, two blue, two blue, then I'm going to loop. The other side. Push them down. White band. <clears throat> Put your next colors on.
Next, we're going to get the white bands over to, again. Let me flip this around. So I'm just going to lift these black bands off, and I'm just going to pull the white bands over just that one peg that I took the bands off. And I'll just put them back on. Next ones. Next ones. And the last ones. And you have that. And just push them down. Now you might just want to go ahead and pull the bottom through a little bit. You can see it getting started. I'm going to turn it back around. You're going to put white down. You're going to get two black. Two more. And then you're going to get your next color. And so now I'm going to show you guys how to close it off because this video would be way too long if I didn't show you now. So, because it does take a little while to do this, so if you don't have patience, don't make it. Um, first you're going to need to get four 
C clip. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, let's see here, how am I going to do this? You're going to take the back band and make sure you hold it down so it doesn't fall off and just hook it to the first one. You're just going to do that on all of them. And that's how you put your C-clips on, but the easiest way I do it to make sure I actually get it on all four is I just stretch it across to the next pin <clears throat> and just take the clip and just push it down to make sure it gets on all four. And then I just take that one off Then I take the next one and I stretch it to the side. Take my C clip and then I push it on like that if you can see the clip. And I just take that one off. And then you're just gonna do the same thing on all four if you already got your C clips on. Great. And then, see, I didn't make much here, but you'll basically just fold it over and then connect it to, you'll connect that for them for, and then you'll just connect them together. You can leave it like this as a keychain, but that is the Sailor's Pinstripe. Thanks for watching.